Welcome fellow warriors, I'm the Martial Scholar and this is To Black Belt and Beyond. If it's your first time on my channel and you like the video, smash that like button. If you enjoyed the content of the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Santerno Movement. Check the link down below. They really have a good program for calisthenics, yoga and they know what they're doing. So please go check them out. Today I shall be doing a shoulder mobility exercise as well as a chest opener yoga sequence. Now there's three reasons why I am using this yoga sequence. The first reason is because I believe it's suitable for Wing Chun practitioners as it has to do with the scapula and the shoulder and anything to do with mobility and the movement of transition for our shoulders and our techniques is very good. Secondly, it will help me perform my um, back bends and wheels much more better. It will, it will give me that extra push or lift I need to have a good circular um, wheel. Number three, I know it will strengthen my stabilizers and improve my handstands, which I feel I'm lacking strength in. So this routine is something that will help open up all those areas, get it mobile, get it nice and strong. By the same time, flexible enough for me to do other things so what we do is we come to a tabletop position and we're going to start warming up our wrist we move in back and forth only going as far forward as you are capable of doing be on your toes so that you can stretch your feet and then move back and forth nice and steady go at your own pace and really make sure you can get that flexion if you want you can then change it up a bit lift like going on your knees and really put in good pressure on your wrists and don't go further than you need to or more than you have to it's not a if i do more i'll go be better once you're there, we go into a plank and we just hold it, adjust yourself as needed. Make sure you have a straight back. Try and tuck in that lower tailbone and then come back to a tabletop. You can either come to a tabletop or go to your knees. Now, shake it out. Now flip the arms or your hands so your palms are facing upwards and remember you only need to go as far as you need to. Try and keep your elbows straight as straight as you can and if you need, can go backwards go backwards. I'm not going further than I need to. I'm only going as much as I'm capable of doing and that's good enough. Nothing more or you don't need to prove anything. So gently back and forth, make sure you breathe in and out and try and keep your elbows straight as much as possible. Sit back on there for a little while, breathe in, let the wrist come up. Nice deep breaths. Now, what I'm doing here is that I'm now placing my knees on the palm of my hands and I'm now flexing, protracting my back, having a nice curl, a bend to it. I'm breathing in and out as I'm doing this. And if you can, you can do an arm balance, a mini balance, taking your toes off the floor and just balancing on your knees. Come back down. Keep that nice protraction, nice curve in your back, open it up and then release. Come back out, shake your hands again, warm up. Now let's come into a squat. What we're doing here is where I'm placing my triceps on the inner thighs and I'm extending my thighs outwards. So I'm flexing it basically getting my hip flexors to be more flexible while rotating my wrists back and forth 
both left and right i'm not clenching my hand into a board fist it's a it's like a c you know and a hollow a hollowed out fist and i'm just rotating my my wrist while moving my hips shake it out then adjust yourself take your time now what I want you to do is we're going to do some shoulder mobility raise your hand up bring it back down try and keep your spine in and what you want to do is you want to get your arms this is going to help the mobility as far back as possible without your back arching into a curl you so you want to keep your back straight as you raise your arms and you want to see if you can move your arms further back behind you now you don't have to go as slow as me you can go faster if you want but remember do everything in moderation as in it's suitable for you don't do anything extra please I'm picking it up a little bit now because I've warmed up I'm trying to really get that mobility that stretch at the back still keeping a straight spine without trying to let it curl or curve at the top or at the bottom really work those scapulars get them warmed up breathe in and out as you do this inhale and exhale relax so shake it out now come back into plank position hold it there and then protract and contract protract and retract so you melt in between your shoulder blades when you retract hold it there for a few seconds anytime you feel you need to come out of a pose do so don't feel no way or no shame in you know coming out of it go back into downward facing dog really push from the palm of your hands and see if you can really channel that energy through the palm of your hands up your spine into your hips and lift your hips higher come into a plank position hold it there for a few seconds protract and then go back down into downward facing dog you should the aim is to try and open up that back as in that scapula so when you protract and then you go into a downward facing dog and then you release you should be able to melt and then do that again I'm almost able to really go contract while I'm in downward facing dog protract and see if you can really melt into that scapula protract come into a plank and then downward facing dog try and really melt into that chest when you go into the downward facing dog try and keep that energy to push the energy through the palm of your hands into your spine into your waist bend your knees and what you want to do is you want to do that push as I was saying from the palm of your hands up into your spine up into your waist while your knees are bent and then you can straighten it out keep on trying to bend that knee and push backwards breathe in and out try and lengthen through the, your sides if you feel you need to take a break do that but then once you already get back into it bend those knees and then lower down into a child pose as you can see I'm trying to keep my hands flat and I want to then 
melt into my chest now keep your palms flat on the mat here even though you see me raise my fingers don't do that yet just keep your palms nice and flat onto the mat and try and melt deeper if you need to open your knees a bit wider keep your hands nice and flat and try and get your chest deep open up those scapulas and shoulder sockets take deep breaths deep breaths now come on to your fingers now when you're on your fingers you're on your knees and then you melt deep into your scapulas again try and contract not protract but retract into your shoulders melt into your chest keep your fingers nice and firm and as much as possible sit your hips back push back breathe deeply really open up your sides really try and go deep breathe in and out keep the fingers nice and strong nice deep breaths now lay your fingers flat on the floor keep that posture go back really melt into that shoulder now go back with your fingers up so maintain this posture breathing in deeply through the sides trying to get your hips to sit on your heels while you're stretching and melting deep into your chest while you're stretching your armpit sockets you can go palm or fingers whichever one you feel and you can even switch in between the two while you're in this position while you're in this pose to get the best out of the range of motion and also what you're comfortable with just keep on breathing deep really sink into it if possible trying to suck in your stomach and from there sit back down or place your chest closer to the ground the ultimate goal the ultimate game is to place our chins almost on the ground or even on the ground stretch those arms stretch those scapulas open those armpit sockets take deep breaths let the air pass into the sides we don't want to hyper extend the mobility range of this movement so only go and only do it as far as you're comfortable with and don't put yourself in any pain or awkward aches or anything like that then what I want you to do is gently come out of it walk your hands back and then sit down on your hunches clasp your hand behind you roll your shoulders behind your back and then stretch this is a good contrasting pose for what we've been doing we've been stretching it forward now we're stretching it backwards and you can move around be gentle move your head as well especially when you're like this you can move your head up and down but stay in a particular spot move your head up and down as gently as you can release that place your hands on your knees and now you can do the same get a nice protracted back 
really extend that back and work your spine go back into the clasp behind your head and then lower your head to the floor try and keep that arm or keep your arms as straight as possible breathe in and out then come up release then go back into a plank lower down into chaturanga and then up into downward facing dog and try and see if you can get any more mobility or flexion in that deep opening of the scapula lower your legs and jump or float take it L as in lower back take a breath come up nice and gently raise your hands above your head into prayer position and then come back down a nice forward bend the L sit and then hop or step back go down into chaturanga upward facing dog and then downward facing dog as you exhale take nice deep breaths so from downward facing dog come down into you sitting onto your heels and what we're going to do we're going to do a dolphin pose and I will say if you're not used to the dolphin pose please take your time and just do the basics just take your time and build your strength naturally so before we do that we're going to go into a forearm plank and what you do is you make sure your forearms are placed evenly behind you and if you can while you're raised your forearms are raised in the hair you walk as far forward as you can now if all you could do is just this which is all I could do I raise my leg up and then bring it in and just hold it there for a few seconds and then come back down and relax now take your time when you're ready go back into the forearm plank raise it up walk your arms in or walk your legs in as much as possible try and get that flexion bend your knees if you want and push into your sockets and straighten your knees if you're inclined to if you don't want to keep your knees bent now what we're doing is a push-up almost so it's like a shoulder pike take time and relax where you feel to and come out of it so when you're ready come out of it and take a few seconds reset and once again off you go go into the forearm plank and then from there push off we're going to be doing some pikes trying to touch your chin to the floor and then come back do as many as you think you're capable of doing stop and then settle down on your last downward pike hold it where you reach the top and hold it there for a few seconds breathe in breathe out and then relax come and sit on to the heels of your feet clasp the hands your hands behind your back and stretch once again stretch your hands behind you rotate your head left and right gently really work those color bones move in different positions just to see how it feels move your body rotate come out of it now we're going to go into round two and what this entails is basically the same thing dolphin pose but we shall be going on the, the blade of our excuse me the blade of our hands meaning the palms of our hands will be facing each other yeah and what you will see is that um you're going to be working um, more of your stabilizers and you'll be opening more of your 
shoulder sockets because it's totally different muscle groups that you'll be using so get ready get your hands in the pike position shoulder width apart raise your legs up and then do the same thing one pike push back up two pike push back up three pike push back up anytime you feel you want to take a break please do so four pike push back up it's not a sprint it's a marathon and hold it push back I mean go down and then push back up maintain that structure breathe in to your sides breathe in and out put your knees down and relax now I want you to place your hands in front of you then place it behind you nice and gently go into baby pose let that that scapula at your back just melt apart naturally don't force it just knit it naturally melt apart if you wish to open your legs a bit more so that you can sink deeper into your legs do so relax breathe in and out really work your shoulders even you being this position is you working your shoulders because you're relaxing it and they're going into a position they normally don't because you don't normally um, end up in this position so allow it to just enjoy the position it's in right now all that tension all the hard work just melts away breathing in deep come up slowly so in this section what um, the practitioner does is that he tries to do a balance not that he tries he actually does a balance clearly i'm not at that level so the next best thing i'm going to do is just a one-legged stand while i'm my other leg is raised in the air while i'm in the dolphin position so that way i'm training my body to then eventually allow me to come into the um, balance the arm balancing act so so you come back into the dolphin position place your arms shoulder width apart the palms will be on the ground you lift your hips up on your toes lift the shoulders up and raise your leg now what i'm doing wrong here is that i'm letting my right hip take um, um charge i should level both legs uh, or level my hips and when I'm coming down I bring my foot to my um, right or left tricep depending on the leg so maintain maintain lower your knee if you feel you need to and then come down when you're ready take some time shake it off relax so the next thing we're going to do is we're to open up our shoulders our scapulas even more place your elbows shoulder width apart onto the floor lower your hips bring them back as far as possible and then what you want to do is you want to sink into your chest really push or really let your chest go deep to the ground it's like a reverse prayer almost so try and bend your top chest into the ground um, I suggest you look upwards to open up your trachea and let let that um, part of your body go deeper in right now I'm placing my head on the floor yes you can do that but ultimately if you were to open your head or look up it will open your chest a bit more ideally you should be having blocks underneath your elbows but I totally did not um, think to bring mine out and use it and so I just used what I had which was the mats and that's perfectly fine so 
so take some time breathing in once you finish relax open up your chest and then try and really make your hips go backwards when you finish come up sit on your heels rotate your shoulders backwards and forwards turn your head left and right and for this one you're going to stand up shoulder width apart clasp your hand behind your back and then bend forward make sure your shoulders are rolled backwards before you bend forward and let that arm go across or over your head try and go as deep as you can really extend that arm and really breathe so release go into a L take a breath work your left your, your legs left and right as you're breathing in we're going to go into back bends and I want to use the wall but at the same time we're going to go into um, handstands ultimately what you want to do is to work all the scapula work we've been doing is to be able for us to get a nice deep um, flexion on the on the on the handstand release and then come into a seated pose once again let your triceps be on the back or the inside of your thigh and try and open them up so now come into a seated position lay back and what we're going to do we're going to basically let our feet be raised up and stacked as high up as we can onto our shoulders and we're going to then lower one leg behind our head at a time and alternate between the two so what we're doing we're holding it in position right now and then we're going to start lowering one leg behind keeping the other leg straight one leg behind the other leg straight so you keep on doing this taking your time one leg behind one leg straight one leg behind one leg straight and then when you're ready place both legs behind your head while your legs are behind your head you will clasp your hands behind your back and stretch them aim is to try and get them to touch the floor if you want you can bend your knees to your head and try and let your feet just be in a nice position relax make sure you breathe in and out while you're in this position don't hold your breath when you're ready put your feet back on the floor straighten your legs and then slowly come back down use those core muscles put your soles on the feet onto the mat now we're going to be moving on to back bends for this i'm going to use the wall because i'm trying to improve that how can i say the flexion on my chest and what i used on the on my back to open up my my um my scapulas on my shoulders so what i do is that bring my feet as close to my glutes as possible place my hands behind my ears close to the wall and ultimately i want to push off just up and up 
right there i'm trying to get my arms to extend so i need to work more on my top part of my chest and you just keep on pushing when you're ready lower come back down take some time don't do what i did was which was almost put my um, knees to my chest once again get my feet close to my glutes raise up my hip hands be by my ears and then push up oh there you go push 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 so my arms and my triceps is what i need to work on as well as my chest come back down then you can put your knees to your chest or you could open up and do a butterfly hands by your sides or you can put hands on your lap if you want that extra bit of um, opening just relax and breathe in take your time be relaxed we have another round so once again, get your heels to your glutes, hands to the side of your head. And once again, I'm using the wall. And when you're ready, push up, push up. Get that strength in your arms and then come back down when you're ready. Open up into a butterfly. Don't put your knees to your chest open that up again it's not a sprint no matter how high or how far you've gotten today think of it as something positive don't be negative it's 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 progress and it's not done in a day it's it's a thing that's done over a period of time so give yourself time you can place your hands in the middle of your thighs or in between your thighs to open or get a deeper stretch Relax here. Breathe deep. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to roll over onto our stomachs. And what we're going to do is that we're going to stretch out and, you know, um, give our arms a good stretch. So, stretch your right arm out. In, um, to the side of you like a cross almost half a cross and then with your left hand you push your chest off the ground and you use your left leg and throw it over your right leg like so and really get that deep stretch your hips are there turning and what you're going to do you're going to do the same thing but this time you're going to put your arm Instead of a 45 degree or 90 degree, you're going to move it up to a 45 degree angle. Once you're ready, do the same thing again. Left hand will brace your chest. Left foot or left leg will be thrown over the right foot to get that stretch. And then we're finally doing it at almost a 12 o'clock, but close to a 55 degree angle. And you're doing it again switch over to the other side we're going to now do the left hand so you should be able to get bare angle on this side so once again a 90 degree you stretch out your arm and then you flip the other leg over the arm or the leg that is resting get a nice stretch take a few seconds here then reset move your arm up to a 45 degree angle throw your leg over and stretch stretch that shoulder muscle reset and once again move up to a 55 degree angle and stretch don't push yourself as much it, it becomes much more you know forceful so once you're done roll over to your back let your left leg come up 
to your chest or your left knee and then put it across your right leg and stretch your left arm outside or to the left hand side and have that nice twist in your body you can reinforce the twist by placing your right arm your right hand on your outside thigh relax breathe in and out when you're ready switch to the other side right leg or right knee will come up twist over to the left the right arm will become extended and the twist will be reinforced by my left hand or my right outside thigh try and look the way your arm is pointing so I'm looking towards my right arm a nice twist there few more seconds relax bring your knees to your chest work on your lower back breathe in and out we're now winding down I look up to extend my spine a little bit more to really sort of like stretch out that spine take your time here breathe in and out well then and that's it so you can stop here or you can lay your feet flat and just chill me i've come into a lotus position and i'm now nice and relaxed thank you for coming along with me to this journey i mean this is really good for those who really are into wing chun who practice with boxing anything to do with your shoulders back and striking and mobility this exercise was excellent for you once again fellow warriors thank you for your companionship on this journey if you like this video please smash that like button if you like the content of the channel please subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you can be informed when new videos drop i am the martial scholar this is my journey to black belt and beyond until next time safe travels on your journeys peace <laughs>